Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Custom. So today we're going to do a kit review on my finished uh, Beast uh, statue. Now uh, this is the Beast on the chair and desk from uh, Bushi Collector and it was sculpted by Sheridan Deuce. Now I did a four part uh, work in progress series on this so check that out. That explained a lot more of how everything was put together and how I did stuff. It's Some of it's painting, some of it's just some tips and tricks on the video of how I did some stuff. And uh, also, um, I also did a kit review on this as well, so you can check that out, so you can see how well this kit was done. I mean, literally, this was one of the most professional and well thought out kits that I've ever had to put together. Um, it was just uh, pretty amazing. So as you can see, there's a lot of parts here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do reviews in sections. So we're going to work focus on beasts first. I'll take them off the table, and then what we'll do is we'll focus on the desk and chair because I can't put it all together and have him on the turntable because you just I just can't turn him, and it's just not going to fit on there because it'll it just it's just too bulky. So what we'll do is we'll do sections. I'll show everything how it's finished up. You can check out those work in progress videos, and then what I'll do is I'll put them all together at the, the table, and we'll kind of I got the best angle I could possibly get and we'll come back and we'll finish it up. So let's focus on him, I'll get the arms in and then we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, this is Beast, uh, really just a really great sculpt. Uh, just It's just amazing how well it was uh, just easy to put this together. You know, his arms come out, the head is uh, magnetized in and out. All the magnets were done with the kit before I even got it. I didn't have to do all that work. Um, just really cool. So I was also sent specific artwork to follow. So I followed this specific paint up that the client wanted me to do. So I just ran with it with the, I coated them all in a, uh, you know, I think it was a enamel, like, uh, metallic blue. And that was my base coat. And then after that, I started building up and doing all my colors. So some of that metallic blue showing through some of this black in here that I did, but not much, just a little bit. And did some gold. Uh, this is all uh, flat pale gold. Uh, this is um, pearlized uh, yellow from Createx with some orange and, and mixed into that. And then there's a uh, Tamiya titanium gold for the trim. So there is different golds on here. You see it in person more. Maybe the camera and the lights, you probably are not. But you can definitely see it uh, differently. Uh, so we'll get a little bit closer so we can show you the face. Okay, so... There's a lot of dry brush work in the face. Uh, we, uh, I was talking to the client and everything, and I didn't like the idea, and he didn't really wasn't into it too, of making any of the flesh tone in the face because you could, you know, flesh tone in the eyes or flesh tone in the gums and you know the uh, the teeth and the lips around there. So I said, you know, I even said it to him. I was like, you know, I always remember Beast kind of having like that blue or dark mouth, not really like flesh tone in there, and he was for it too as well. So that's kind of what we went with. We just kept it. Uh, you know, simplized. Also, uh, for the eyes, there are ultra fine transfer eyes, but then what I did was I kind of coated them to give it more of that yellow look. Now, he does come with the uh, little glasses. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to really toy with it here because they could go in and out. So, you know, you can just kind of put the glasses on him. They are clear, so what I did is I, I sanded them down a little bit. I glossed them up and I did the black around them. So it stays in there very well, as you can see. I'm just not a fan of the glasses, to tell you the truth. Just I know he does wear glasses, but for me, I'm not a fan of it. But then again, I'm not a big Beast fan either, but I do like this statue a lot. So, I think you can kind of see all the dry brushing I did with the colors. You know, the face has got some uh, gray in there. It's, uh, just try to do stuff. You know, give him like the blue nose and just kept him more of that Beast blue look to him. And then you can see here, we, uh, we gave him some nice dirty, uh, crazy fingernails. Turn this around here. As you can see, so this is all uh, outclad pale gold for the armor here, and then also down in here as well. But then what I did is a lot of the trim. I did some uh, uh, what was it? Uh, metallic gray in there, just to kind of beef it up. He does have red pieces under here that the artwork I was sent, and then the same thing up here as well. It's all uh, pale outclad gold with some uh, you know metallic uh, paint in there. And uh, just a really cool kit. So uh, let's see, uh, as you can see with the fingernails. So just to give you guys an idea, what I did was when I painted him up, uh, when I was ready to do all this blue uh, fur, I did paint it like a really dark, uh, like a middle grade blue. It's like, you know, there's a dark blue and then there's like a middle grade and then there's the highlights. 
So what I did was I did a base blue on him and then what I did is I shaded him up in dark areas where like you would see the muscles and then when I dry brushed you got all that different gradation in there. So you've probably not seen it in the camera but in person you could pretty much pick it out. And uh, really cool. So uh, that's pretty much Beast. Uh, I mean straightforward. Uh, really well done. And like I said, uh, if you see uh, the kit review and uh, how I put them together, these pieces right here connect up. And then after that, the magnets and everything, the arms are all one solid piece. The head comes out and it's just a really well made kit. So we're going to put him on the floor now and I'm going to pull out the desk and chair. We could go over that. Maybe we'll go over the desk first and then I'll go over the chair and then we'll have them all pieced right, together. So since the chair is a little bit easier, we're going to go over this one first. So... Uh, as you saw in my work in progress video in the kit review, uh, this piece underneath is uh, one piece here, and then this piece connects into that, and then each uh, wheel feet connect into that, and then uh, this is one solid piece here, and then all those little pieces around there are separate, and this is so. He sent me this artwork, and then he wanted me to go with the red, you know, like fake leather look, and that's what we went with, except uh, I didn't want it really shiny, you want to keep it like leather, so. It's kind of red paint with all the you know, mahogany mixed in with it, and then uh, I gloss coated it, but then I dulled that all down, you know, and did, did all the detailing work, did all the woodwork on it. Really, really well uh, done kit, really printed out well, sculpted well, you know, casted great, and I just pretty much wanted to get all that detail, you know, capture all that wood, make it nice and shiny, you know. And I did my little take at the bottom where I wanted to, you know, keep it like a black metallic at the bottom, but, you know, keep the gold wheels type stuff, but keep the wood there too as well. And I just like to do like the texturing of the wood just to give it like, you know, a little bit more life. A lot more work though, but sitting there, you know, just pop on some music and go to town and just uh, get everything done. And then uh, after all that was done, just did all the little balls that are kind of like, you know, little rivets that are in there. I just wanted to give it that old school look, you know, like a red chair that you would see in an office. And that's pretty much it on that. Um, you know, it's just a matter of painting up piece by piece and then attaching them all at the end. Because uh, if you, because uh, I, like I said in uh, one part of the video when I was, wor the work in progress videos. If you put all this together and then you try to do any kind of like detailing work on the side, it's very hard to get in between here these pieces. So it's better to have a little piece in hand and then glue it all together at the end. So it's pretty much one good solid piece. So that's pretty much the chair. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully you guys like the way that came out. Uh, now we're going to stop. We'll put up the desk and then uh, we'll have all everything put together at the end. Desk is a little more complex, a lot more pieces to it. Okay, so here is the desk. Now, this is a beast. I mean, this, <laughs> I mean, I think the desk is a beast more than the beast himself. So, uh, it's pretty big. As you can see, I did a lot of detailing work on there. Uh, you can definitely check out that work in progress video. You know, we got the drinks uh, and everything. We got the folders, the computer. And uh, as you can see, I did a little metal plate work there. I was sent a, a, dis, uh, a picture in the mail and wanted me to follow the specific artwork of the desk, which was like a mahogany. I think it was like the Resolute desk he sent me. So I just pretty much try to follow that up, you know. All the detail, all the woodwork around here, on top of the uh, desk as well. Now there's like a little trap door under here with a little button. It's just like a, it's actually like a really cool little electric thing. Um... I'm not really going to flip over to the desk for that, but you can check out the work in progress video, I think part four, and i show you the underneath the, the, the thing with the sticker and everything underneath the desk and stuff. So let's get a little bit closer, I'll show you what I did over here. So the little alcohol glasses, they may look a little too orange in camera, I can't really tell too well, but what it is, it's a, kind of like a brownish orange mixed in with some, uh, uh, what is it, um, epoxy, clear epoxy, and then what I did is I put little clear pieces of resin in there to keep it like ice so that pretty much uh, worked out pretty cool nice little trick there and then this right here is kind of clear coated around as you can see and then I gloss coated up so it looks like there's some uh, alcohol in there and then uh, 
For the folders, uh, as you can see, they get placed in with little keys like that. What I wanted to do is try to do some old school folders work because I figured Beast wouldn't have anything like really new. So what I did is a lot of like weathering on them and I did this little stamp thing on them as well. And you can see with these stuff. And no typical, you know, I, of course I didn't do any writing. I just put little scribble marks like it's there. And then what I did is uh, all the kind of like folder looks in between. So that was pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, let's kind of get a little confused at times of where these pieces go. I think go like this. And then, uh, of course, the bigger ones over here, as you can see. So uh, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, also uh, in the work in progress video, you can see how I did up these uh, books. Now, I wanted to do, like, you know, a really uh, old school type of look to them. Added some gold trims at the edge, like there's some writing. And just, because uh, I figure Beast, if he's in the library, a lot of stuff is going to be old and uh, beat up instead of, like, you know, nice, fresh, brand new stuff. And then uh, onto the little laptop. So the laptop uh, is a little bit uh, complex. Uh, now, I, what I did is I looked on uh, the original artwork, and the way that it is, is this is the bottom part, and this is the top part. I was always confused if, you know, if this was the bottom or this. So I guess this piece would snap in it over there. I guess that's the way it's designed, so that's what I followed. And then uh, what I did is I have a friend over in Canada that does a lot of T-shirts, and I did up this little... Uh, computer screen thing with Magneto, there's a little picture of Wolverine and a 23, like X-23 and then over here is like the Cyclops goggles and I put all that together and I sent it to file to him and he printed me out a bunch of stickers so I got the stickers back and then I pretty much uh, stuck it on there. It took a couple tries because I had to sand it all down, smooth it out and roll the sticker on nice and even because the stuff is so tacky that you get air bubbles so it took a couple tries so it's a good thing he printed me out a couple as well and then, uh, you know, I did the little keys, the letters on the keys. Let's see. So you can see all that over there. And then uh, to pretty much uh, the back of it, as you can see. Just wanted something like a little bit cool of a computer screen. So the cool thing about all this is it just sits in these keys and you don't have to really do anything with them. So, and then, uh, you know, the top of the desk pretty much is uh, straightforward. Uh, it's kind of like... The desk that he sent me was like this grayish like thing up top with the, you know, gold trim uh, stuff on there. So that's kind of what I followed. And that is the desk in all its parts. Um, so hopefully you guys like the way I kid did that. Uh, it's kind of, you know, I just wanted to go more old school with Beast. You know, something older, more like, you know, worn out. And just more like a library instead of anything like fresh files or anything like that. So that's kind of came up with that. So uh, next step is we'll put them all together on this table. Uh, I'll try to get him so we can see him plus the chair off the fiddle with it. And then uh, that'll pretty much be it. All right, so he's on the desk and this is the best I could come up with. So I'm going to hold the camera this time instead of on the tripod. So we're going to kind of hover around. So bear with me if I do any uh, shaking of the camera. So you can pretty much see how well this kit is done and it's really cool. And I really tried to follow the color scheme, everything for the client, go with that old look. It's really not that hard once you get everything lined up, you know. Pretty much the best way I found out is you kind of get this foot lined up and then you kind of put this foot down but you kind of turn the chair a little bit so this way everything connects in there because you could see the way his feet and things are kind of like clawing into that chair you know so looks pretty cool made sure it's, that's that's one of the main things is you want to make sure this kind of lines up now as you can kind of see the way this chair is kind of bent forward and it seemed like when I put him together and I lined them all up that's kind of like gives it a little bit of a cool look and it's kind of like his you know body weight is really pushing on that to going backwards and then what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that I lined the wheels up like these wheels are going to go backwards so I try to push my actual chair that's in my studio like if the chair is coming this way how, how would the wheels actually go so I wanted to make sure each wheel was actually lined up correctly too because that's something that you got to think about when you know you're doing something like this 
Um, cause if you have like, you know, all the wheels going in all different directions, you know, so you can kind of see how they're lined up and then, uh, you know, the back of the laptop, you can see with the folders, just kind of, I wanted to do like that kind of glow look. And, then, uh, one of the cool things about this, you know, this piece actually comes out too. So you can actually, you know, like throw that there, you know, and the cool thing about this stuff is you can put these wherever you want. So like, you know, you have one over here, like he was talking to someone. Or like say uh, you put Wolverine in front of him like he's going to pounce on Wolverine because he was getting on his nerves, you know. <laughs> Something like that. So uh, just a really well done kit. A lot of fun uh, putting it together. Hopefully you guys like the whole entire video series. Gives you guys some uh, tips and tricks. Some different stuff. Uh, hopefully the camera's really showing uh, as well. It's kind of like a mahogany look. I mean, even even if you go downwards and you look up at them, like say you're like a little uh, a little wee X Men babe, so you can really kind of see how cool it is. So even if this is on like a high shelf and he's up there, it's really cool. You get a lot, a lot of cool detail, but it's definitely a really really big statue. So hopefully you guys like the way he came out. I had a lot of fun putting him together. Hopefully you like the whole series. Let me know if uh, you know. They worked out for you guys. And that is Beast on the Desks. So, thanks for watching guys. And we'll be back with some more videos.